Okay, three new things. And for all three of these, it does say at the top of each guitar profile, you're going to spend 10, basically 10 to 15 minutes on each thing. So with what you worked on this past week, because it was only one thing, that's why it said like 15 to 20 minutes. But now that things are, are like this, we're going to do 10 to 15 minutes per rhythm pattern here. Um, and yeah, throw in the repeats after you reach that 10 minute mark or the max out thing just like before uh counting now we're counting a little bit different because we're not just playing whole notes and half notes and dotted this and that so as you did last night you're only going to say what you play this will reinforce what it is you're trying to do and make things much more solid and just make you a better player all around so I always want people to count out loud from 60 to at least 120. Very, very helpful. If you can go faster than that, do so. If counting out loud, you know, the faster you go, it just becomes too much of a pain in the butt, but you're still playing it correctly. Not a big deal if you're not counting out loud anymore. But doing so from one, uh, 60 to 120, very, very helpful. Uh, especially because we're going to be getting the 16th notes eventually, and we'll be starting out with 60 beats per minute with the 16th notes, which is the same speed as 120 with 8th notes. So might as well get into practice now. All right, here we go with number one. Hundred, um, so yeah, I'll demonstrate four different speeds for all three of these, but I still want you to go up by the increments of five. So here we go. One, two, three... Four, one, and two, and three, four, one, two, and three, and four, one, two, three, and four, and one, and two, three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, and two, three, and four, done. Remember to sync the hand with the down beats and up beats. So every time it's a down beat, we strum down. If it is an up beat, we strum up. Tap the foot with the click, so the foot and hand are synced up the whole time. Here we go, 120. One, two, three, four. One, and two, and three, four. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, three, and four, and one, and two, three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, and two, three, and four, and one. upbeat of one so we will be strumming up to begin each bar except for the resolve chord that's the only time we strum down on the one and with the chords at the end no need to let them ring out all four beats just hit it and be done one two three four and two three four and 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 done one twenty one two three four and two three four and 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 done one eighty one, two, a one, two, three, four. Two forty. One, two, one, two, three, four. And 
number three. Two different strumming patterns on this one. 60 beats per minute. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and, and, and two, three, four, and one, two, three, and, and, and two, three, four, and done. 120. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, and, 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 two, three, four, and, one, two, three, and, 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 two, three, four, and, done. 180. One, two, a one, two, three, four. Now, one, two, one, two, three, four. Two forty. One, two, one, two, three, four. And the name of the metronome I use, just on the phone, Tempo. I think the uh, you got a free one, and I think that has everything that we need. The paid one is like not even five bucks, so pretty cheap metronome if you wanted to just buy it um but yeah it's got everything we need all kinds of subdivisions we can choose from and time signatures and it goes very fast faster than we need which is a good thing so with all three of these if you reach 240 without the repeat if you reach 240 before next week film it send it over and then we can keep keep uh you know moving forward at a nice decent pace I don't think I should have said decent how do I want to word this we'll keep moving at a pace that's very appropriate for you how about that does that mean you need to reach 240 for all of these no no it doesn't I want you to stay focused on the accuracy not the speed but if you hit 240 for any of these fantastic uh, I just want to make sure that it sounds correct and looks correct uh, so this way we can say they're done with that one. Basically, we can sign off on it, and then you just focus on the other things, like the scales. So yeah, just keep working on memorizing one after the next. Uh, make sure that for the ones you do, like you played last night, be able to go from one to the next with zero mistakes before you add anything else, because we want it to be not only smooth, but comfortable too. This way you can have an easier chance of memorizing the whole thing. All right, any questions, let me know, and I'll see you again next week.